Hey, my name is Aries, and I'm documenting my journey to get fit-ish. For me, that journey to fit-ish means trying to lose weight, trying to uh, reduce my inches, trying to gain muscle and tone my body, trying to build up endurance and be a person who lives an active uh, lifestyle daily. This is something I used to be. I, I've always had to work for it. So it's not like I have walked away from a life that was easy to maintain. Um, but it was a life that I know I can achieve. I have been doing this YouTube channel for almost two years now, and I just recently took a break from making videos. It wasn't a planned break, but it was a needed break. I, I was struggling with the journey, with the process, with the constant feedback. And I know that most feedback is given in a positive manner. It's meant to be uh, supportive and um, encouraging, um, but it doesn't always hit that way. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a negative comment to do so. I'm struggling with the journey because I have been trying hard. <laughs> I have been focused and determined and giving it my all. I started the 100 year, or 100 year, I started the 100 days to end the year back in September and I consistently worked out every single day. And I did see some progress in that first month and then that stopped. There was nothing else. Which is why I didn't make any more videos about it because there was nothing else to show. And it's super frustrating to put in all of this time and effort and get nothing for it. And I know that that is so many people's journeys. But what comes along with sharing that online are all of the comments meant well, but not received well. It's things like, well, all you need to do is eat better. Or, well, maybe you're working out too much. Or maybe you need to do more of this. Or haven't you just tried keto yet? Or alternate day fasting worked for you before, do it again. Or any of the other <sighs> comments which all equate to, you just need to try harder. And that's not always the case. It's, it's, it's very hard to give it your all, to have tried so many different things, to then be told that that's just the thing that you need to try and you just need to stick with it and you just need to keep going and you just need to and just need to and just need to as if I haven't been doing this my whole life. I am struggling to understand why nothing's working. I am struggling to continue to do it daily, regardless of the results not showing up. And I'm struggling to share these struggles online because even though it's meant well, I wasn't in a mental headspace to receive it well. So I just needed some time. 
So that being said, um, I worked out consistently all through, well, from when I started that 100 day journey, September 19th, for the remainder of September, for all of October and all of November, every single day I worked out. It was different variations of working out on days where I was tired, exhausted, or short on time. That could have just been a yoga day. And yoga didn't always mean a flow pose on the ground. Sometimes it was a few poses and then more of a meditation style. But it was something. And it was mixed with weight training, cardio, Orange Theory had started back up. And I was going at it. And when I tried to do my two-month weigh-in and checkup and measurements at the, that point when nothing had changed from the first month that's when I just started taking actual rest days so December didn't look quite as consistent I focused more on my food in September or sorry in, De- in December but I have been doing that right through we I have following 80 percent good 20% I can have treats or not good. I'm cooking, we're cooking our meals at home. I'm eating two meals a day and some days I'm snacking if needed and the snacks are like sugar snap peas or a pear or cantaloupe or something vegetable fruit related. My meals have been pretty consistently a protein with either a singular vegetable or two vegetables. And that has been going on for quite some time now. And yet nothing is changing. I have been talking with people who have knowledge in the uh, subjects and uh, it was suggested to me that I get my hormone levels checked. I just had a doctor's appointment today to try and get that to happen. And the only thing that she was willing to check was my thyroid. So I've done the blood test to get my thyroid checked today and I'm awaiting results for that. I want to take it upon myself to go to a private clinic now and get the rest of my hormones checked because I have a lot of symptoms that correlate with estrogen levels being off. And I, it feels very much like I am fighting a battle that no amount of food or uh, activity is going to conquer. So I am trying to understand that the battle does need to continue, but maybe there's more at play than what meets the eye. Um, so I'm working at behind the scenes and it's taken some time to get the doctor's appointments and such like that. So I am working at it, but it hasn't been as glamorous as I would like it to be. Um, I'm still going to Orange Theory throughout the holidays. They changed all of their hours, so I didn't get to go as often. And I also ended up with a sinus, um, cold through over over the holidays. So I was like, I couldn't breathe. It was all just like blow my nose constantly. So now that I'm feeling better, I'm back to orange theory and now that their hours are back to normal. So, um, that has been consistent. I've also, um, with January started, uh, I've jumped back onto Adrienne's 30 day yoga journey, uh, that she puts on every year. So I am today is day five of yoga um, with Adrian. So that has been going on and oh my goodness, um, not doing consistent yoga in that way. Uh, and now doing it every single day. Oh boy. My muscles forgot what those positions are like and how to hold a plank for so long and in and out of downward dog. It's been a lot. So, um, yeah, it's been very interesting to get back into that. Uh, but I am doing things as often as possible still. Um, I just haven't been sharing it with you guys because like I said, I needed the mental break because I wasn't in the right headspace to 
um, continue hearing that I wasn't trying hard enough. It's, it's easy to look at one video and hear what I'm talking about in one video and assume that that's the only thing I've done. And that's the only thing that I've tried. Um, but anybody who's been watching my channel for a while now knows that I have touched on so many of these different topics over many different videos. And there's a lot of things that I just haven't talked about and that's okay. I don't need to share absolutely everything um, just because I'm sharing my journey now. So it's a, it's been a, an interesting I don't know, like struggle to figure out what that line is on how much to share, what is, um, what is, you know, yours to find out and what is mine to keep, I guess. Um, and I'm not complaining. I chose to do this and it, 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 without this, I wouldn't still be going. I wouldn't still be trying. I would have probably given up a long time ago. So I am grateful for this. I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for the sport and for, like I said, what means well, the comments of trying to help and support. Um, it just, sometimes it's not what people need. Sometimes, um, it's hard to hear that all of the effort that people are, you're putting in isn't enough in somebody else's eyes or that, you know, the simple answer is you just need to do this or that. And it's like, nothing is that simple because every single body is different and every single body needs something different. And like I said, there could be hormonal things going on under the surface that are affecting the results regardless of what you do. So I am back. I am here. I'm sorry that I took some time off. It was much needed. Uh, ooh, it was unplanned. Um, but I am back and I do plan to, um, you know, keep this channel going, keep my journey going and keep you guys updated on what's happening. Um, I did film a video while I was in on vacation in Cuba. That was like two months ago. Um, I never ended up editing it or putting it out. But if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments and I will get it out there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I've got um, some plans coming up for new videos. And like I said, I'm just going to keep on plugging away, doing what I'm doing and hoping that those, um, you know, that... I hit some magical place where everything finally comes together and I finally get this sorted out. So yeah, thank you for sticking with me, even though I've been gone for literally two months. Um, I appreciate all of you. And uh, if there's anything that you want to see me talk about or try or do or make a video on, leave it in the comments and I will do my best to get that done for you because, you know, I want you guys to enjoy what you're watching just as much as I want to enjoy making it. So that being said, um, yeah, I don't want to ramble on for too much longer because I feel like that's all I'm doing now. So thank you so, so much for supporting me, my journey, sticking around, even though I kind of disappeared and ghosted you all. <laughs> I appreciate you and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>